I'm Deborah Wynn Smith, the President of the Council on Competitiveness, and I'd like to welcome all of you to the Council. We're absolutely delighted to host today's remarks by Under Secretary of the Treasury for Domestic Finance, the Honorable Robert Steele. Over two years ago, the Council's CEO leaders issued a landmark call to action, Innovate America, warning that the United States risked losing its competitive advantage in the global marketplace unless we harnessed our strengths and core asset, innovation. Today, the United States is the most innovative and productive economy in the world. However, to remain so in the face of intense global competition and the emergence of high-skilled innovators, we must educate and ensure that all Americans have the knowledge and skills they need to prosper. We must encourage risk-taking and investment in new transformational ideas and create the high-value goods and services that will power future economic growth. And we must ensure that our nation's infrastructure, intellectual, physical, and regulatory is in place to support innovation, productivity, and high-value economic activity. The Council has reinforced the fundamental importance of these pillars of innovation, talent, investment, and infrastructure in our competitiveness index we released in November. These findings have now been embraced by the Hill in a bipartisan way, and we are very proud that we've played a role in shaping the President's American Competitiveness Initiative that has also received such support across this nation. Today we are going to hear from Under Secretary Steele about the critical importance of capital markets to America's ability to be innovative, prosperous, and compete in the global economy. We must engage globally to be successfully domestically, whether it's trade agreements, collaborative research, and better understanding of global enterprises and complex interdependent global value change. Under Secretary Robert Steele understands that innovation and global competitiveness is a national imperative. Working closely with Treasury Secretary Paulson, he is indeed at the forefront to address these challenges and opportunities and ensure the strength and vitality of America's dynamic capital markets and our global financial leadership. On October 10, 2006, Robert Steele was sworn in as the Under Secretary of the Treasury for Domestic Finance. In that capacity, he serves as the principal advisor to the Secretary on matters of domestic finance, encompassing the nation's financial system, fiscal policy and operations, and governmental assets and liabilities. Under Secretary Steele brings a very distinguished record and private sector leadership and accomplishments to this very important set of responsibilities at Treasury. In 2004, he retired from Goldman Sachs as vice chairman after a very distinguished 30-year career. And prior to joining the administration, he served as a senior fellow at the Center for Business and Government at the John F. Kennedy School of Government at Harvard University. On behalf of the Council on Competitiveness, it's my pleasure to introduce and welcome Under Secretary Robert Steele. Great. Well, thank you very much, uh, Deborah. Thank you for that introduction. And to everyone gathered here this morning, thank you for the kind welcome. Uh, um, it's a privilege for me to be here at the Council on Competitiveness. You're fortunate to have Deborah's strong leadership. As you know, she's served here at the Council since 1993 and helped your organization develop a great reputation of excellence. For nearly two decades, the Council on Competitiveness has brought together our nation's business, academic, and labor leaders to help us chart a course for global competitiveness. Your mission reflects a commitment to the future prosperity of all Americans and enhanced U.S. competitiveness in a global economy. These important objectives echo one of Secretary Paulson's key goals for the Treasury Department to encourage the competitiveness of U.S. capital markets. Today, uh, Secretary Paulson announced the first stage of his plan to enhance U.S. capital markets competitiveness. These steps focus on strengthening financial reporting to enhance investor protection and encourage a vibrant, sustainable auditing profession. I will discuss today's announcement in a bit more detail a little later, but first would like to offer some general perspectives on how we think about this issue of shared interest of competitiveness. For some, optimism about the future of our capital markets comes less easily today. However, we at Treasury do not share that view. Instead, we start with the fact that our markets are the strongest in the world. Earlier in this decade, our markets passed safely through several perils, including the burst of the technology bubble, a terrorist attack, and a series of corporate accounting scandals. Today, our economy is healthy, 
the labor market is exceptionally strong, core inflation is contained, and we're transitioning from an unsustainably strong rate of growth to a more sustainable one. Our markets are deep, vibrant, and efficient, and our financial system remains the envy of everyone else in the world.